So in this video, we are going to use QGIS to get some data into our database, much like we use BASE to get some data in as well. We're using QGIS because this data is spatial data. So I'm going to open up our previous QGIS file, project file, which has the base map loaded. And we'll give that a few seconds. And then the data that we're going to be bringing in is uh, this restaurant's CSV file. So there's an ID column followed by a geometry column and well-known text, a tracking number uh, used for linking to other data sets, and a restaurant name. So not too, not too complicated. Now, uh, because the data is also in the same folder as the QGIS file, uh, we can use this Project Home shortcut. And there's the restaurant's file. And it kind of already snooped and says, hey, look, I can tell that this is a geo CSV file. So a CSV file that has spatial data in it. And I believe it's point. So it went and took a look. And we can double click on that. And there it loads the uh, restaurants in. Now I'm just going to zoom to that layer. And then just save that. Now, this data is not in the database yet. It's still, it's just QJS reading it off of the Z drive. And that. So I do want to get it into my database in PostGIS. Uh, well, Postgres and Gamma. So down here, I'll make this a little bit bigger, actually. So in the browser, there's, uh, I guess, some special uh, nodes that you can connect to PostGIS style databases and geo packages and, and that. So I'm just going to right click on this and make a new connection. And I'm going to connect to Gamma. So I'm going to call it Gamma. I'm going to be using, uh, and so the full name is gamma.athena. BCIT.ca. Uh, port looks okay. The database is, I'm going to use my demo account to do that. And just sort of a basic username and password. And so my username and password, my username and database have the same name. And then the password is following the password convention. Uh, always test, look up here, it says it was good. Uh, also show tables with no geometry. So I'm actually going to check that on um, in that. And yeah, let it look all over the place for data. Um, and I'll go OK. So the big thing was checking this checkbox, host name, database name, username, and then your password. Oh, and again, always test the connection. So I'm going to go OK. I'll go OK to that as well. Now I have a connection and it can see uh, my schemas and the one I want to put it in is uh, this one here, my mod one schema, GST7132 mod one. Now, the question is, okay, I'm looking at this data in QGIS. Is there a quick way to get it into the database? The answer is yes. You might even be able to drag and drop it, right? Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the database uh, manager in that. And so it's going to be aware of the connection that I just made. So it knows, hey, you connect the GAM over here. It knows, hey, you got this schema and that sort of thing. And I, so I can go import a layer into it. So I'm going to click on import. Now I went over and stooped in my table of contents, this layers widget. It says, look, I, I found some data over here. I'm hedging that you want to import restaurants. Now you could go out and actually browse for a CSV file if you wanted to uh, on the system and bring it in. So, but I'm just going to grab uh, the layers. So this will be a drop down list of all the vector layers that you can bring in. So, this restaurant is making reference to this restaurant over here. It's going to put it into my mod one schema. Great. It's going to call the table restaurants. I can give it a different name if I want. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm going to set the primary key to ID, which is the first column. Uh, the geometry column is geom. I kind of figured that out, I think, in that. Uh, now, if I needed to project from one system to another, I can do that. The base data is in 4326, which means lat long, but maybe I'm going into UTM zone 10 or maybe BCL bears so or some other projection. I can change that as well. Uh, just in case, make all the field names lowercase in case some of them are uh, have mixed case or uppercase in the CSV file. Might as well create a spatial index to speed things up in that. And I can put a comment on the table. Okay, and that, if I uh, wanted to. So I'll just call it uh, M01 
test spatial import csv to post just got a little extra character in there again i could always use pgmin4 to change this later i'm just going to go okay and we'll see and it says it was successful so that's good how would i know oh look i have a new little layer over here restaurant so i'm going to actually remove this one and remove that layer okay we're not going to notice too much difference. Hopefully not. Should, hopefully we get the exactly the same data. And the, but this time the data is actually coming from the database, and that uh, we can take a look uh, what fields it made. It's got an ID, geometry, tracking number, and restaurant name, and that. Uh, but we didn't get to fine tune exactly the size of the uh, uh, character varying fields and that. And so if you need some real fine-tuned control, this may not be the answer that you're looking for. But if you need to quickly get it into the database, it's not a bad way to get it. Once you get it loaded into QGIS, you can quickly import it into PostGIS. But for now, this concludes this video.